What's up guys, Real Naughty back at it again. I'm back at my favorite lake that y'all always know that I go to when I'm getting out the house real fast. Um, I see this spot over here that's actually trimmed up very nicely. It usually has very, very, very tall grass. And uh, uh, even though I'm in the DMV, I'm still not very fond of snakes and other little creatures and shit. So I'm not the guy that's gonna be traipsing through all that. I'm a wannabe country boy from the city. Uh, but we still learning and adapting together. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. It's looking real fast for the day. Hopefully you guys like what you see. Subscribe, baby. So guys, I'm gonna start off with the Juicy Swim Jig paired with the uh, Strike Kings Ray Swimmer. Gotta look out for all them damn snakes and shit. And also, I'm a Pink Flute Texas. So take my time going through this vegetation they just cut. Let's see, I'm gonna start off with Texas cause it's weedless. Got that on the bait caster. I can zip it out a little further today. Let's see. Okay, let me pull the camera up. There we go. I heard my first fish feed pop just now. And guys, I've never fished this side. Like I said, it's always a lot of vegetation around here. All right, let me try a different method. Go along the line. Oh, that didn't work out of plan. Ooh. Stay throwing lures at myself, guys. I must not love myself like I say I do. That sink. Give it a couple switches. To the switch. To the switch. Hey, something just popped up right there. Bang up. Little guy. Try to get him through these pads rather right fast. Oh. Damn. Crappy on this side. Big crappy on this side. Crappy on this side. And this guy got sores on his mouth. I don't even know if I want to touch him. But I'm surprised the crappy hit the fluke. I'm gonna use my shirt because I don't have a glove. Uh, guys, I do not play about germs and shit, so could be a damn COVID fish. All right. First time for everything, guys. Like I said, that was my absolute first time catching a crappie on a Texas rig Zoom flute. Guys, if ever you have your baits kind of bust open from a hit, what I like to do to get the best out of it is rip the nose off and start fresh. With the Texas rig, your sinker goes flush. I kind of actually like this a little better, but I'm not gonna bust the nose off right out the pack. All right. All right there. Look and step and 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 look and step. Hey, <clears throat> now we're here. Now what I'm going to do is get up on this rock. I like that. Do it again. Can always count on one being there, no matter what. Little fella, little fella, little fella. Sorry, young bass. 
clench knot on through. Twist it at least eight times. When I'm using a mono, I do it about six. Braid, I do a little more. You're gonna put the tag in through the loop that you made initially when you put the line through. So sometimes I just grab it and pull apart that bottom hoop. You know, yeah, I can't see it now, but put it through that loop. Shaking like a scrub. All right, then put it back through the hoop you made from putting that tag in through. Pull it all the way down. Right over there, that's a fox. See him running across. He got some kind of animal in his mouth. <laughs> the things you see while you're fishing. He came out, stopped, looked at me. I looked at him. He's like, all right, he's all the way over there. We good. Wow. That fox got a rabbit too. It looked like. Looked like he trying to come visit mine. He came out the woods. And he was like, yo, hey, how you doing? Fishing. Okay. So what I'm about to do is take something off of this goosey arm. I know I probably still have a right. these are my babies. I love to keep my tackle organized, all my catch code stickers, you know. So this is my worms box. Uh, I got worms and grubs in here, all different types. This is my creatures box from lizards all the way to crawls and brush hogs. This one is my lightest box. I use them a lot. These are my fish um, plastics. I got my hard baits. I got my rattle trap, my uh, crank baits, you know, liftless and all of that. These are different jigs, and I got a out of place uh, lunker prop hunt, prop fish, and these are my frog case. And I forget, I got my rooster tails all in here. Uh, rooster tails are multi-species bait, meaning you can catch multiple types of fish on it. Um, but right now, all I want, these are my worms. So let's see if I can do that without them falling. Uh, Stanko. Watermelon. Uh, red flake. Pick up the rod. Get my tag in. Ooh, it's getting dark. I need to hurry up. Put that mine through. All right, so once you put your line through, you're gonna pinch it by the hoop, make a hoop with the end that's going to the rod, right? Then you take your tag in and you wrap it around that hoop six to eight times. I don't even count anymore, depending on how strong your line that you're using, whether it's mono, floor, carbon, braid, any of that, <clears throat> it depends on how many you should do. I don't really use fluorocarbon. Uh, I just use braid and mono. Uh, like I tell you guys all the time, I started out <clears throat> as a bottom fisherman. So in bottom fishing, um, we use a lot of mono. 
So if I can't get it done with mono, I'll use braid. If I can't get it done with braid, oh well. So let me go ahead and get this bad boy on the hook. I feel like I really butchered that tutorial there, but hey. I'll see you once I edit the video. Line it up like I've done everything else. This is a smaller hook than I usually use, uh, but hopefully I can get away with it. And then I'll bury the hook to make it weedless. And I'm gonna work my way back towards that drain that you always see me fishing. my tripod is also a selfie stick so first time I actually get to show you guys the course a little bit but right. for the tears this is what I've been thinking for the channel all right a little out of breath but hey you'll get the point so with all the corona going on these masks make it hard to breathe and I got a little extra protection under here Trip. Every trip that I go on, I'm going to start putting one piece of tackle to the side that I like best, okay? And, or, going to the store and getting some brand new ones. Better yet, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some brand new of some of my favorite baits, what I've caught on, what some of my friends catch on, and we're going to pile all that up. So, it's going to be a lot of stuff, guys. I fish almost every day. So with that being said, that tackle box is going to be full. So now I know you guys are like, okay, what's the catch? Well, here it is. When I get to a thousand subscribers at random, I'm going to pick one of those subscribers and I'm going to send them that entire tackle box. Now, with that tackle box, I'm also going to include a bait casting rod and reel combo. All right. So make sure you tell your friends, subscribe, you never know. Even if you don't watch the videos and you're subscribed, you might stand a chance to win the goods. I'm going to call it the Naughty Box. Hey, that sounds good, the Naughty Box. <laughs> trying to tell more stories in my videos so that you guys can get to know me. Um, so... Real quick, I'm Mike McQueen, man. I'm from D.C., born and raised. Um, <clears throat> Northeast in my earlier years, but I spent most of my life growing up in Southeast D.C. Uh, not the big chair side for my folks who are from the city. Um, but still, <clears throat> being an inner city kid, uh, my dad coming up was always a U.S. Coast Guard licensed captain out of Solomon's Island, Maryland by the name of Captain Sonny McQueen. Uh, one of the first black captains uh, down in Solomon's. Started his career down in uh, Point Lookout and worked his way along on over to Solomon's. Uh, for me, um, I've been on the water ever since I was in my mother's womb. Uh, and I've been fishing literally on my own since two. Uh, not saying that without my parents or family and friends, but without assistance from others. Um, hold on. I'm fitting to die under this damn mask. Woo! Alright, much better. So, uh, fishing is in me. It's in my blood, man. Uh, when we first started, uh, for me, what I remember is Fletcher's Boathouse um, in D.C. We would go there and rent a boat, take our trolling motor, and we would go out there and do some bottom fishing and tear them perch up. You hear me? That used to be some of the grandest time. Me, my mom, and my dad, <coughs> all in that little rowboat, red and gray, if you remember. <laughs> and uh, just tearing them up, taking the haul home, cleaning them, frying them up, you know, enjoying it, get, making memories. Um, but yeah, so that's my fishing history. But other than that, man, um, I went to DC schools growing up, man. Uh, went to Aton Elementary, Burville Elementary. Low Pierce, which is a friendship school, and I also went to Friendship Collegiate Academy for high school. Uh, after that, I made my way to the North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University, Aggie Pride, uh, where I got my degree. Uh, I'm currently a teacher now. I love teaching. However, 
uh, I would love to fish full time. <laughs> so uh, that's a little bit about me. Um, I don't really know what to talk about to tell you guys, but I know making things personable and relatable uh, keeps you guys coming back to listen. Um, and if y'all have any questions, you know, for me, ask me, man. I'm down to earth. And I should try and ask me for my social. I can't give you that, man. Uh, but I'm a pretty reasonable guy, you know. Um, while I have the opportunity, shout out to uh, my brothers of Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated as well. You see, I got my Alpha New hat on. That's the chapter. The beast of the Middle East. Um, I also shout out to my good, free, and accepted Masons across the world. Uh, I'm a Prince Hall affiliated Mason from the Most Worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of the District of Columbia, uh, currently serving as the Senior Deacon. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about me from school, family, social. Um, and if y'all ask me any more questions, man, we'll just go ahead and work it from there. But, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with that weight list we tied before I left the other side. Closer to my truck now. This little spot here is the whole hole. Oh, the whole hole and nothing but the hole. So, this looks like a good one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Let's see. So, got it on that um, weightless Senko. It's a good hook. I love that hook. And it's not even name brand. Uh, flick it. So what I do a lot, guys, I take pictures of my videos, but I want to get away. So shout out to my mom. Uh, she watches my videos as well. And I said, man, I wish I had a scale. I wish I had a scale. And I said it one too many times. So she got me this fish fun digital scale. And um, I usually only put big things on there, but I want to get a good weight on something so that she can see me. <clears throat> All right, so deep. This is 1.2. Oh, he's mad with that. <clears throat> I'd be mad too. All right, so let's get this baby back in the water. <clears throat> you know what I think these fish are gonna do? As soon as it start raining, they're gonna take off and they're gonna be hidden. Then I'm gonna have to call and say, baby, baby, can you uh, watch baby boy for another hour or until sundown? <laughs> But I did my chores this morning, so <laughs> I should be okay. <laughs> and yeah, you know when it's about to rain, because the birds come out like it's no tomorrow. Fly to my face, but that's the best thing about these salt coat uh, face shields. You're not bothered because you can't feel them. Hey. How you doing? You all right? You're not supposed to be fishing here. Okay, man. Aren't you the same guy I saw up there before? Okay, ma'am. Yeah, so we're so we doing this again. Residential, very low class, really. So I'm a low class yes, guy sir. for fishing. 